audacity to say to me well i mean like you have a bigger sub count so like you're way better off than he is and also like i've always kind of had an interest in you anyway i just wasn't sure if you're able to keep up keep up with what yo what is going on you guys my name's bubba and welcome back to another really sad but honestly super embarrassing story so this story takes place three years ago three years ago is when i started basically making content and started streaming and becoming a content creator that you guys all know today and i want to say it was the year 2021 when i initially blew up on the internet but before i blew up obviously i ended up learning how to become a youtuber and everything and how to become a social media creator through other youtubers that i knew now i'm not going to say what youtubers are in this story by the way because obviously i don't want them to you know basically get in trouble or basically get any hate or embarrassment from this video but i'll say this much i was friends with a youtuber that was actually pretty big in size at the time i remember he was around like i want to say 300,000 subscribers and me i was only at like less than like 50,000 like i was a very small creator well 50,000 people is still a lot of people but i was very small compared to him and i remember every time me and this guy would like basically have conversations and hang out he would always basically teach me on like how to become a better creator and how to basically like you know do better on youtube honestly to this day i still appreciate him and shout out to you if you're watching this video i'm not gonna say your name obviously because well this story is pretty sad for you but i will say this he was a genuine dude but i remember me and him one time me and him decided to basically go to a bar and basically hang out with each other and have a good time with each other other than talk about work but while he was doing this i remember me as i got to the bar and started sitting down waiting for him out of nowhere i see him walk in with a girl and when i saw this at first i didn't really know what to think i was thinking oh you know what like i should have brought a date so it's not gonna be awkward but then when they came and sat at the table i realized that this girl she was actually like pretty nice and genuine at first she was really kind to me and she was nice to me as well and me and my friend when we would talk about work and stuff she would kind of like understand it to a certain point in a way i saw them more as like a couple that was also teaching each other how to be better creators and i thought this was really cute and obviously like a dream of mine to have because well i mean to be fair i have a crush on a ton of other youtubers and creators but i'm not gonna say who because well that would be just embarrassing and also i don't want you guys exposing me like that but i will say this it was really cool to see them you know basically be together and well even though i was still third wheeling i remember out of nowhere i ended up basically getting asked by this girl oh wait so bubba are you like new to like making videos and stuff uh no i always want to be a creator but like you know i'm just i guess learning i'm still growing and stuff you know just get, kind of getting into it oh well it's a good thing you have my boyfriend around he's actually one of the biggest creators here i mean yeah i know that we're friends and at this point it started to really sound like that she only cared more about his following than actually him and the reason i say this is because she would always call him by his alias and not by his actual name which is really awkward in my opinion so i didn't really know what to think from there but i remember after a while she ended up getting up and going to the bathroom and when she went to the bathroom i looked at my homie and said yo so question where'd you meet this girl oh i met her online like she was actually a really nice girl i met her over tinder and like yeah me and her kind of just clicked instantly you guys clicked instantly like right away yeah dude like i don't know why she had a big interest in me right off the bat and honestly i really like her she's always there for me and always like you know being really supportive at this point i didn't really know what to think and then i started to realize that there was a lot of things he forgot to include in his story but obviously we'll get to that later because what ends up happening next i gotta say was really really weird because i remember when me and my friend were like you know drinking and having a good time and basically all hanging out together this girl out of nowhere in the middle of us talking decides to interrupt and say oh bubba i'm I'm just curious like how much do you make wait what like how much money do you make like do you make as much as um my boyfriend at this point i didn't know why she asked me how much do i make and i'm gonna say this right now to any person out there it's very rude to ask how much youtubers really make or how much any man makes in that case it's kind of just like asking a girl's Excuse weight it's just not right me? to say and honestly i didn't answer the question all i said is oh like i make enough i guess i don't know and she kind of looked at me with a really snarky look and kind of just ended up looking away afterwards after that moment i always got a bad vibe off her and well what ends up happening next i gotta say was even worse because i remember the next day comes around and basically me and my friend we ended up basically talking over discord about you know types of content we want to do and i remember he gave me the really great idea to basically start you know doing story times because while i always like you know was telling a bunch of stories to him about all my dumb stuff i did back in high school and he told me to just do it and try it out and see where it goes so that's what i did i ended up basically telling a story and well thanks to you guys watching this video you guys ended up blowing it up. Like, you guys blew it up to the point where I ended up having 90,000 followers growing all the way up to over 1 
million one million followers on tiktok I, I i should probably make sure i let you guys know we still did not hit a million on youtube yet but if you guys manage to subscribe maybe we will sooner but basically i ended up going through a big blow up phase that month and i remember my friend and me were super excited with each other but obviously he was the only one that was excited his girlfriend was also really excited that i was blowing up and ever since she saw that my numbers were growing she would always dm me call me and try to get my attention through social media now at this point i didn't really interact with her because obviously she was dating my friend that was a youtuber as well like i'm not gonna interact with a girl that's basically taken because obviously that would be very rude of me but clearly this girl did not care that she was taken the only thing she cared about was basically having the attention from me that she wanted it got to the point where i remember she ended up basically calling me on my actual cell phone number which i never gave her by the way but she ended up calling me and i answered the phone since i didn't recognize the number i remember when i answered the phone i ended up saying hello uh who's this hey bye Baba, it's me. Uh, I don't know if you remember, but like, um, you know, like my boyfriend. Oh, hey, like what's going on? How'd you get my number? Oh, I ended up asking him for it. I just wanted to ask, like, what you up to tomorrow? Uh, just working. Wait, why? Oh, well, like, I was wondering if we could like hang out. Like, you can like teach me some things. Uh, I mean, sure. Like, I'm down to like hang out as like the three of us, me, you, and your boyfriend. Oh, my boyfriend's busy tomorrow, but he's totally cool with us hanging out. So, like, you down? At this point, when she said her boyfriend was okay with it, I ended up saying sure, because obviously, like, I'm not gonna lie to you. I didn't really have much of a social life after you guys blew me up on the internet so i ended up basically saying sure and the next day i ended up actually getting inside of my car and i drove down to her to go hang out with her we ended up meeting up at the mall and me and her we started basically going for a walk around the mall and basically window shopping and as we were window shopping i am not joking this girl was glazing the entire time like i am not joking she kept telling me how attractive i was she kept telling me that she knew i would make it in content creation and she was just glazing to the point where it was actually really unattractive. I remember I was super annoyed and just super weirded out by how much she was like basically like, you know, talking to me and kind of flirting with me. And I felt very wrong with even being there. But she said that her boyfriend was okay with her hanging out with me. So I don't really know who was in the wrong there. But then what ends up happening next, I gotta say, really made things a lot worse for me because I remember 30 minutes in me hanging out with this girl, I ended up basically going to a store that had jewelry in it. Now, if you guys don't know, I like chains. I don't have a chain and I always wanted to get like a nice gold chain for myself just for the fun of it and nothing you know to flex on other people just for myself so i remember i ended up basically window shopping at a store where they sold jewelry and as i'm looking at this gold chain i remember this girl ends up saying omg baba you should try it on uh i mean sure why not so i ended up basically asking the person to try it on and she ended up passing it to me but obviously i couldn't put the chain on by myself so this girl she ends up basically getting the chain and she ends up putting it on me as she's standing right behind me but right as she was in the middle of putting it on me her boyfriend friend comes out of nowhere the friend that was a youtuber as well and he saw that i was hanging out with her he walks up to me right away and says yo bubba why are you hanging out with my girl bro wait what i thought you were cool with it you hanging out with my girl alone since when would i be cool with that wait what do you mean she said you were cool with it and at this moment this girl ended up freezing and not saying anything she was basically caught red-handed and at this point i was really like weirded out and i didn't really know what to say but then my homie ends up saying babe can i talk to you for a minute and him and his girlfriend end up going to another part of the mall while I was left alone by myself. Now, I didn't hear the conversation that they had, but I will say this. I ended up kind of viewing from a distance what was going on. And well, one thing led to another. First, they were having a basic conversation and then the girl ends up crying. And when a girl cries, usually something bad emotionally happened. But she started crying and he ended up walking away angry. And that's when she came up to me and said, Bubba, he broke up with me. And she starts tearing and crying and crying to the point where I didn't know what to do so me and her we end up going back to my car and at that point i was just thinking about dropping her off home just so i don't have to you know get in the way of this altercation that just happened but then she looks at me as we're on the way to her house and she says baba can i go back to your place please uh i mean sure why not so i ended up taking her back to my place thinking that would make her feel better but right as we get to my place i'm not gonna lie to you guys me and her we ended up jumping straight into doing the devil's tango which was really really a bad idea because I remember as me and her were like laying in bed after not wearing anything, I ended up getting a text message from my homie and he ends up saying, yo, Bubba, I'm not going to lie, bro. I don't know what happened between you and my girl, but I realized that she was a clout chaser. So like, make sure you stay away from her, bro. And right as I get this message, I'm literally laying down right beside her after doing the devil's tango. And I looked at her while putting my phone down and said, yeah, so I'm not going to lie. I don't think this is going to work out. I don't really think me and you should, you know, be doing this ever again. But I mean, like, 
you're hot. She ends up getting up all upset and she ended up saying, all you YouTubers with your massive ego think you guys are so famous. You can just do whatever you want. Well, you know what? You're dumb. And she ends up leaving. It was really sad for her to say that. But at the same time, was this girl a clout chaser or a gold digger? Because at this point, I couldn't tell the difference. But if you guys can, then fall for more embarrassing stories just like this one. Peace out, guys.